the idea is that I have some thoughts on some topics, I present them, our panel will weigh in. First, the Mets now have the richest owner in baseball. The Indians had Brad Hand, wouldn't pay him 10 million. Take advantage of the leverage you have over the Indians and trade for Francisco Lindor. It's what big market teams do. They make trades that you know will turn into long-term contracts. He's 26 years old. You're not sacrificing the future here. John Hine, your thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. I love hearing your thoughts, Doug. It's almost like you're the host of the show and you get to say what's on your mind. I think that's a really smart idea for the new owner to do. It shows a commitment to somebody who's a perennial all-star at shortstop. Talk about a guy who's got some pop and a leader. Lindor would be welcomed with open arms, I feel, into that Mets clubhouse. You don't pass up a talent like that. You lock him in because you've got the cash to do it. I think it's an excellent idea and the Mets should look for similar opportunities like this for high-end talent that may come at a high price. John Hine, I thank you for the kind words. We should do this more often. Um, second, Doug thought, I think the Yankees should move on from Masahiro Tanaka because I no longer think he's a one, two, or three. And if he's a four or a five, you can find somebody who will give you more innings. He hasn't reached 190 innings since 2016. He's not old, but there's certainly tread on that tire and the postseason cracks began to show in 2020. There's cheaper options that fit your rotation better. Sweeney Murdy, your thoughts? I like bringing back Tanaka. I don't need him to be a one or a two. I can settle with him being a three or a four. And despite this last postseason, his numbers overall are excellent. I don't fear giving him the ball in a big spot. Uh, I think the tread on the tire, so to speak, yeah, it's there. But when you're playing on the free agent market, I think that is something that you kind of have to deal with. Your other options are going to be bringing in guys maybe who haven't played in New York. Third Doug thought. Um, the Mets should sign Brett Gardner. The Yankees are short on cash, as we've talked about. He still commands a decent amount of cash. If the Mets think Springer's too pricey, Gardner's a winning player who plays good defense, pair that maybe with a minor league deal, bring Jake Marisnik back. You've patched up center field for 2021. Nimmo, in my opinion, should not play that position for a winning team. Anthony Recker, your thoughts? I don't like it. Um, you know, look, Brett Gardner, he's had a great career, and he's had a great career in New York. He's done very well for the Yankees, um, and I appreciate what he's done over the past even several years as he's gotten older. But uh, for me, look, you want to bring in talent that, uh, you know, you can kind of build with, with this core group that you have. This guy's coming in. He's, he's towards the end of his career. I don't think he really offers you the ability to play center field at a high level anymore. Um, you know, and, and outside of that, offensively, you're not getting uh, any kind of an upgrade whatsoever and even defensively not really that much so for me I don't see it um, I think there are other cheaper options out there on the market that you can get to bring in and play uh, other positions in the outfield and, and patch up center field and other 